think I hate the question, how are you? Because sometimes we are not fine, but nobody really cares, you know. These are three words that mean absolutely nothing. But I mean everything when asked in the right manner. And that's what I want to talk about today. So let's get right into it. My name is Anne, and I am many things to different people in various spaces. Most importantly, all day, every day, I am a child of God. Yes. <laughs> that people ask how are you every day 95 percent of the time they do not they don't all care they don't want to know i mean if you <laughs> if you won't start saying how are you in their head they're like did i ask you how are you how are you like i mean just say you're fine unless all of us move on that's really what it means but have you ever been asked how are you and at that point you're not fine or you're not well and you actually want to express yourself but then you remember oh wrong answer <laughs> and then you just go with the regular I'm fine, thank you. How are you? You know, smell like all is well. So while I was thinking about how irrelevant and how irrelevant this very important question is, I remember an incident that happened one time. I was in a public vehicle and there was this lady that stepped into the vehicle, she sat down beside me. And it was a very, very busy day, you know, and there, there was serious traffic on the road that day. So it was going to be a long ride home. She sat down beside me and um, I operated a discerning gift here. For some reason, I don't even need it that day. I just saw this girl. To me, it was obvious that something wrong with this girl. But I just thought, like, maybe she had a long day like all of us. Because we are all tired and we are all here stuck in this mainland and break tra traffic. We don't know where we are going to get home. You know? So I just turned to her and I asked her, how are you? And then I smiled and then she paused. I'm like, why is this stranger asking me? How am I? That's kind of vibe I got. And then she was like, I'm, I'm fine, just tired. And then I decided to, you know, just push a little bit. I'm like, how was your day? She was like, mm, it was stressful. I know. She now kept quiet. A few minutes later, possibly not really a few minutes later, a few seconds later, she starts crying. You <laughs> 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 So I'm thinking, hey, I made somebody to cry inside this boy soon. And then, you know, she now goes that she, she just opens up and starts telling me how she has been depressed for the past couple of weeks and her family friends nobody has been able to tell but she said it's not she said something that stood out to me she was like it's not it's not like they don't ask how are you but there was something about the way you asked it that it showed that you actually cared to know and that meant everything to me in her words now and it just really really warmed my heart you know when she said that Aww. afterwards I, I didn't leverage on the opportunity to you know preach to her and all that but I felt very like it was like a, a burden was lifted you know they say that a problem shared is a problem half solved yeah so it felt like she, she said she felt lighter you know just sharing with me and all of that and it then occurred to me that we have to you know be a bit attentive in this life and how we go about our day-to-day -day activities don't just look over people don't just be too much in a hurry Try to observe what is going on around you, observe people, observe the accountant and you know. There is a difference between hearing a person and listening to them. People like to be listened to. You know, too many times we look at people but we do not see them. And nothing is more hurtful to the one who is hurting than being overlooked or being ignored. When I passed this student fellowship year, I made it a habit that every single time, you know, after church or whenever I saw my members, I will always ask them, how are you? And then I'll ask it in a very soft, you know, tone, in a, in, in a manner that shows concern. I'll ask, how are you? And some of them, they'll just, you know, do the regular thing, be like, I'm fine. And then there are a few of them that will, you know, open up to me. And then when they go, like, I'm fine, I'm going to press further. And I'm going to ask you, how are you really? You know, I'm not, I'm not going to break it down and ask you emotionally, academically, spiritually, how are you? And then that way you cannot just tell me fine, fine, fine. <laughs> you know, there is a way that they are now going to you know calm down and now think through it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going through so so and so thing in my hostel, or I'm having an issue with this person or in my academics and this and that. And that was how I was able to you know penetrate them. And I realized that people people actually like to be heard. People don't like to people like me. Yeah, I don't like to talk when I feel like you're not listening. 
when I feel like you're not understanding, when I feel like it's just you're just asking for asking sake, do you get? So people like to be heard. You also reminded me of one time, yeah, still you know, pastoring. I came in one time and then there was this girl. She they were having choir rehearsal, and I saw this girl and I saw the way she looked. And I'm like, she's usually a very bubbly person, very cheerful, and all of that. And then I just I called her out of choir practice and I took her to the back of the church and then I asked her because it was it was kind of obvious like her eyes looked swollen and all of that that's like oh, it's not every time you need discernment I asked her have you been crying and my dear this girl starts crying <laughs> she starts you know crying over and over and then I just gave her this really really long hug and then when she was done crying she cleaned her eyes and then she felt a bit better I told her to take some time off like go high drink and then Okay, before she went in, she told me what was making her cry. I encouraged her by the time she was done with her She was bubbly again. She was back to her normal, free-spirited person. But there are some people that day that might even be her friends and they might just look and assume, this person just having a bad day. Let me leave them. Let me not talk to them. You know, let me not um, stop them. There are times that I can be like that too. I feel like, it's not, it's not their day. You don't know what's going on. Somebody let them know come and transfer. You know, the aggression on you and all of that. I feel like we need to pay atten more attention people and show more love and care basically what i'm trying to say is that people need people you might end up being the you know, only person that listens to them today the only person that hears them out and that can make all the difference in the world yeah by the way i'm fine very fine thanks for asking <laughs> okay that's all for today's video see you next time in my next video I didn't preach today, I just came to come and give you normal, basic, human knowledge, <laughs> okay? So, um, see you next time on this channel. I hope you learned something. Click the subscribe button so you get to be notified next time I upload a video. Bye! -ya. Something like that. Close that door and leave me alone. What? It was cheap, sure. You want to dye your hair? No. That one was, it was not more than 500. Close the door.